And if you're not getting enough of a certain vitamin, you could be looking at permanent nerve damage and serious neurological problems, such as memory loss and even dementia. Wow. I spoke with two doctors on what we all should be looking out for. Do you know if you are getting enough vitamin B12? Now, even though an estimated 48 million Americans are dealing with a deficiency, it is often overlooked. Now, this can be very serious for your health if left untreated. So to learn more, Dr. Ralph Green and Dr. Peter Shaw both join me. Thank you, doctors, for joining us this morning. Good morning. Dr. Green, let's actually start with you and get a little bit of background on what really is a medical B12 deficiency. Well, a medical B12 deficiency is a condition in which the deficiency that so many people um, are in jeopardy of, uh, you mentioned the figure of 48 million, there are 48 million people who are perhaps on the threshold or on the brink of becoming deficient to the extent that they would then have what we call medical B12 deficiency. And the manifestations of medical B12 deficiency can vary tremendously, but usually uh, the first signs of that would be effects on the blood or on the nervous system. Uh, effects on the blood uh, are typically uh, anemia with the manifestations of anemia, which would include tiredness, uh, poor exercise tolerance, fatigue, etc. And then also the nervous system. So uh, ranging all the way from numbness and tingling in the hands and feet uh, to effects on the central nervous system, the brain, uh, brain function such as uh, memory recall, concentration, in severe cases, B12 deficiency can progress all the way to dementia. So uh, the important thing that I want to emphasize is that although all of these manifestations can have many causes, identification of B12 deficiency as a potential cause is very important because it is preventable and treatable. Well, who is maybe most at risk for this deficiency? Well, there are groups of people who are most at risk. Uh, individuals who are, for example, over the age of 60 in particular, because of a failure of the stomach to produce the secretions that are normally required to release B12 from the food in our diet. Uh, we need very little B12, but it's important that that B12 be released. And so uh, if you don't have enough gastric acid, for example, which occurs in older people, then that's going to produce a problem with uh, getting the B12 out of the diet. In addition, problems lower down in the gastrointestinal tract uh, can contribute to uh, an inability to absorb the B12. So folks who have diseases of the small intestine, such as Crohn's disease, such as celiac disease. These people are at greater risk of developing B12 deficiency. One thing I should add is that there are some folks who actually take medications that reduce their ability to absorb B12 normally. And here I would include people who take uh, acid blockers, the so-called proton pump inhibitors, or H blockers. That interferes with uh, the capacity to uh, release B12 from the diet. Also, some of the oral anti-diabetic agents like metformin, people who take that drug are at risk of B12 deficiency. And Dr. Shaw, I know that previously people that were going through this deficiency were using injections, but we have new technology now that we're using. Yes, as, as you mentioned, the, there are about 5 million Americans who require uh, monthly injections of B12 to replace the B12 that they can't get through their diet or through taking supplements uh, because of the inability to absorb it normally. And uh, now with, with new technology developed by Hemisphere, uh, there is a tablet available, Elegen B12, uh, which bypasses the, the normal route of absorption. Uh, the B12 is attached to a carrier which actually chaperones the B12 through the stomach wall and, and straight into the bloodstream and uh, achieves levels that uh, will both restore and maintain B12 in the same way that traditionally people would have been treated with an injection every month with. So uh, now they can take a, a tablet every day 
Um, and uh, the difference between this and uh, over-the-counter B12 supplements is that uh, it's, it's about five times more available to the blood and gets into the blood within half an hour rather than uh, six and a half or seven hours later, which is when it's absorbed by the normal route. Um, and Dr. Shah, where can we get more information on this new technology? Okay, uh, more information about the new technology can be got from a, a website which is knowyourb12.com uh, where there's information about both B12 deficiency and also this new treatment. Uh, for more information about other treatments available then there's a government website, nih.gov, uh, where they can get more information about uh, all causes of B12 deficiency and alternative treatments. Well, I want to thank both of you gentlemen for that information this morning and keeping us up to date with where we're going on this effort. Thank you again. Thank you, thank you Tina. Tina. And don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend will be right back. <laughs>